And the everyday person is starting to wake up and see that no matter what they do, no matter how hard they work, they're not getting ahead. Dollars are debasing by Bitcoin. We eat at home most of the time. Compared to other people my age, we do not spend money on alcohol or drugs. I don't freaking Uber Eats or Grubhub or anything. And I don't want to sound ungrateful because at the end of the month, we are able to save something, right? But it's not nearly enough to save up for a down payment on a freaking house. And if we did decide to go that route, it would take us, I calculated it, like 12 years of just doing absolutely nothing with our lives. Like just staying at home, doing nothing. And I'm not willing to spend the next 12 years completely restricting myself for the dream, the possibility of a dream of getting to buy a home. Like these are the best years of my life. I want to live that. And with that, what's happening, Crypto Crew? Sean Slim back at you, another cryptocurrency video. So we got a jam-packed video, getting straight into it, looking at the charts, looking at the Bitcoin dominance. So if we zoom in here, we see we had the dominance cool off. We can see that this entire previous week and this week currently is in a pullback situation. Now, does this mean that we are bearish on the dominance? No, that does not mean that. And why do we think that? Because you have to zoom out and look on the macro. And what we're looking at is just this price action. We're going to get out our rectangle here and we're going to draw this price action right here. This is all we're focusing at. This is all we're going to be focusing at right here. We're not going to look at anything to the left right now because as you see, just looking right here, what can we see? We can sit here and we can see that we bottomed out here. We put a double bottom formation in and we came out, blasted out of this, and then put in a higher high. Here's the higher high. Let me put in a higher low. Let me put in yet another higher high and then another higher low. Another higher high, another higher low. So look at another higher high. So this is nothing out the norm of what's been happening really since November of last year. We just been stair stepping our way out the depths. And right now this is just a minor part of the pullback. So how far could we go down? We could go down, you know, somewhere where the support line is, we could go down to like 50%. And we could see, you know, this micro rally. Some altcoins have been rallying right here. Um, but this isn't the big alt season that people are waiting for. People are getting that confused. This isn't the big alt season that we've seen in past. For instance, right here, this macro alt season in 2021. This was the awesome alt season. And this was a bear market. Look, if you had alts bleed more against Bitcoin. You didn't want to keep holding alts through this entire cycle. So you're seeing some pullback because there's some euphoria in the market and alts have been such oversold that some are meant to pop. But this is not the alt season that people are waiting for. We are going to see probably see more upwards price action. And the reason we see that as well, look at the RSI below. We're also just putting in higher highs and higher lows. We bottomed out here. We put in a high. We put in a higher low right here. And look, we put in a high, like a triple pattern high. But each one of these highs are putting in higher highs and put another low. So this actually could come down, come down a little bit lower. And then we can also put in even a higher high for the RSI. So next time we see this run up, this is what we want to pay attention to, because the next peak, whether this comes down here and bounces off of this, this next peak, if it stops short of this previous one right here, which this peak is roughly around the 77.29 range. If it stops short of that and comes back down, the price action actually could come up and put a higher high in. But and this would be the peak right here for this given price action. But as you see, there's a divergence here because the price will be putting in a higher high. This will be putting in a lower high. So keep this in mind. Like if this happens, this might be the time where you want to consider some type of diversification. Our charts are acting up a little bit. But some type of diversification because this is when we could get retracement for more alt season. Benjamin Cohen also agrees with this. He says, you know, because he's getting attacked for his Bitcoin dominance views. Um, basically, he's noting that they just had 10 green weeks in a row off of the 49%. And that's from here moving forward. That's what he's talking about. These are 10 candles of green. But what he's saying is a pullback is imminent. Like right here, a pullback was imminent. Right here, ABC correction. This is the bull market support band, and we're just stair stepping our way off of that. So, could we come back down to these lower ranges? Yes, we could. Doesn't mean that this is 
an ultimate blow off top, and then we're just going to see a macro all season. So keep that in mind. We're not out the woods just quite yet. Matthew Highland weighs in as well. Odds favor a higher low. Trend has been up for over a year. There's no evidence that suggests the trend has changed at all. So right here, what he's saying, at the 42%, 44, 48, and now the 52.5%, it's just coming down and putting in a potential higher low. Now, if we break this and the trend changes, then the trend's your friends at the end, and you want to be aware of that this could mean that we are we could see a retracement. But as of right now, we're just sitting at that 52.5. We actually had a wick below right here, but as you see, the previous high came up to about 52.17. So we want to pay attention to this as well. This is from Matthew Hyland. That's his take on this. But looking at the Bitcoin price, we can sit here and see that price is still looking very bullish. And why we say that, we had this ultimate bottom for this macro five wave Elliott impulse that has just been up and to the right since really November of 2018. Been holding since way back here, 3,100. You can see the appreciation of your investment over time. But as you see, Right here, we had a major extension of that 20 over the 200. And as you see here, right now, this is our extension. Could we see lower price action? Are we out the woods yet? Some people are actually calling for lower price action if we don't hold certain levels. Some are saying this is a macro A. We're having this B and then having some type of macro C to see lower price action. Could this happen? The Bitcoin bros at this current time is recording doubt it because the 20 is curling back up towards that 200, which indicates bullish momentum. And if we look back four years from where we are right now, so 2019, we're in this range here. So it looks like this is where we were when this came across. Bitcoin blasted up and then, you know, sort of just held this 200 for support. We fell through it when the pandemic dump happened. But zooming in to where we are right now. Are we out the woods yet? We actually broke out of the 200, came back and retested it. Look right here. You can see we had a pullback, but that's this current five day. Let's look on the weekly once again. Now on the weekly, we've been above the 200. So this definitely looks bullish. Definitely seems bullish. Not too overbought yet on the RSI. So Bitcoin definitely has some more legs to go to the upside before it has some type of retracement. So keep that in mind. We could be coming up to these macro levels here around the forty-six to $50,000 threshold. Once Bitcoin hits that, it could cool off and come back down and hit this upwards trend, which could be around that $40,000 threshold before we ultimately see the macro run up. That's not necessarily how it's going to work or how it's going to play out, but you definitely have to be mindful. Take a look at the total crypto market capitalization. We're seeing bullishness here as well. As, as you see, this level that we just recently broke through on the $1.242 trillion threshold, we came up, we blasted through it, and the current wick on this five-day candle definitely is showing momentum. Actually, a retest of this support line, and the next major level to pay attention to is that $1.439 trillion, right at that 200 moving average. So that's something to pay attention to. This definitely looks bullish. The trend is up and to the right, putting in higher highs and higher lows. Keep that in mind. With that, I'm Sean with the Bitcoin Bros. That's the latest on the market. So we hope you appreciated this. If you guys like this content, go ahead and smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and show us some love. We appreciate the support. With that, that's all I have for you today.